Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here with yet another unboxing. This should be the last one for a while though because I just, there's just not much more I need to get. But for now, here's what I got. So it finally arrived. I'm gonna unbox my Sigma 24-70 f2.8 art lens. Let's do it. Remember to cut away from yourself. There's the first thing. The Freewell 82 millimeter UV filter. So here's what we got going on. We've got a SanDisk Ultra 64 gig card, which is useless to me. It'll go in a drawer. One of the things I was really looking forward to, this LaCie Rugged Mini one terabyte drive. It's not really focusing because of all the lights shining off the shiny plastic shit. But yeah, I was pretty stoked about this being part of the package, which is another reason why it just pretty much made me go ahead and get it. Now we've got the Sigma 24 to 70 F2.8 DGDN. I've heard nothing but good things about this lens. I'm hoping that I have a good copy. Paperwork, there's a strap that goes with the bag. I don't know why I keep showing it up here, it never focuses, so I'll just stop. Nice bag, again, with all of the cushioning stuff up here. And then the lens. And the lens hood. All right, so I'm gonna sort of do everything all at once, because once I open this up in my dusty ass dirty place, it's gonna be dusty and everything's gonna adhere to it and it's gonna piss me off. Again, I have the Freewell magnetic 82 millimeter. These things are so thin. There we go. All right, now this has like a magnetic cap that goes over it, but once you put the lens hood on, you, you can't get your fingers down in there to grab the cap. I don't really need that. Nice touch, but don't need it. Okay, so here's the lens. And as you can see, tis beefy. It's got all the usual stuff on it. So autofocus to manual focus switch, autofocus lock or programmable button, and an actual lock to keep it from Extending, and then you can extend it after you take the lock off. Ooh, ah, all right. So other than for specific things, this will actually be the lens that stays on this Sony a7R IV, probably, well, I'll just say most of the time. I don't want to give a percent. It's gonna be on there a long time. And another thing is that the, uh, the lens hood has that little button on it to make sure that some bitch stays on there. It doesn't just flick off. All right, so it's on there good. It ain't coming off unless you use the button. Now, so there it is. I like it. It feels good. Oh man, I love this camera. Nancy, thanks again. I love this camera. It feels perfect in my hand. And, and now with this lens, it's going to be just that much better. I mean, it doesn't extend out that far. And I mean, even if it did, you know, I usually walk around with a 70 to 200 or at this junction in time, the 100 to 400. So the 100 to 400 will obviously be for, you know, theoretically when I go into the state park and I wanna to try to find eagles or birds or some kind of, of uh, you know, outdoor creature. Also, if when that opportunity comes up, it will help with what we're doing there. The 85 1.4 I've already determined is a beast and an amazing camera that shoots amazing pictures. That's going to be my basically my modeling portrait lens that I'm going to use. Although it has been pretty great walking around the past week with it, you know, as a go-to walk around lens. But again, now that I got this 24 to 70, this is going to be the workhorse, the one that, that I'm going to have on here all the time. I will go back to my old ways, meaning I will have this camera with me 
pretty much at all times. When I leave this house, this camera will be around my neck. For any opportunity that comes up, anything that catches my eye, or just to practice playing with the settings and seeing what the camera can do, I am thrilled to death with this equipment. Again, go Sigma, because I have decided to use Sigma lenses on this Sony a7R IV rather than the Sony lenses. I am not even the slightest bit hesitant or disappointed in anything yet. I am going to take this out now for a little bit and just see what I can get with it and make sure that it's a clean copy and it's not back focused or messed up or any of that shit. But for the most part, that's it. I just wanted to show you that I got it and it's on there now. I I've been contemplating over and over again on what lenses I want. I know yesterday's video I said I decided not to get the 35 and that I would get the 14 to 24, but to be perfectly honest, uh, unless something strange happens, I don't even see getting the 14 to 24 lens anytime soon. I'm certainly not going to be vlogging with this thing or, or doing anything like that. I'm not, I don't even plan on shooting any video, really. So I don't really need that 14 to 24 at, at this point in time right now that it is pressing that I get it right away. So that's all I got for you today. I just wanted to unbox this. Now I'm going to be over, over the course of time here, I'm going to be doing actual reviews on each of these Sigma lenses. And you know, so the, the 24 to 70, the 100 to 400 and the 85, I will do proper reviews of them along with the Sony a7R IV, since that's the only camera these lenses are going to be on. I foresee greatness coming. I'm pretty stoked about it. And it has just motivated me all over again to, to seek out my passion, which is taking pictures. And, you know, I, I couldn't be happier. So that's all I got for you today. If you have any comments, suggestions, or whatever, leave them down in the comments below. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.